Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? Tito here, and this is Aloha Android, and so for today, well, for this video, um, we're going to be discussing three good things about Freedom Pop's GSM service and three bad things about it. So let's start off with the good things about Freedom Pop, and the major one of it is that great network connectivity. I couldn't tell you guys like how happy I've been uh, with the data connectivity, full bars, indoor, outdoor, and just blazing fast speeds. Um, when off Wi-Fi, so that's uh, something that I really um, big up to Freedom Pop GSM, basically. And if you guys don't know, it runs off of AT and T's network, and so um, it just seems that it, it just works fairly, fairly, fairly well uh, compared to the CDMA side of Freedom Pop, which tends to get a bit spotty and a little sluggish. Uh, with the GSM side, I really thought that it was going to be the same, and it actually no, it's uh, blazing fast. Another cool thing about Freedom Pop GSM is the fact that if you cannot, like for some reason, you know, you're strapped for cash, your bill's coming up, but you're not going to be able to pay it, you can always downgrade to the free plan and then switch back to a, a paid plan whenever you have the funds. And the free plan, not all that bad. I mean, 200 minutes of talk, 500 text, 500 megabytes of data, you know, that should be able to hold you up since most people text nowadays. And then, of course, if you're on Wi-Fi, you can always use some sort of messaging app to really, you know, message your friends without burning your text messaging. And, of course, you could use a like, Google Voice over Wi-Fi to make phone calls as well. So you're not really tapping your 200 minutes or your data. So that's also a pretty cool thing. Um, now, for another cool thing about Freedom Bop, and this is both CDMA and GSM side, is that if you add friends, so if your friends decide to go and get Freedom Pop and you add them, you get um, a little bit of uh, extra data on your data pool. And also there is uh, ways that you can earn free data, like how Virgin Mobile used to do back in the day with minutes. You can uh, do like, you know, these little special offers and stuff like that and gain yourself a little bit more data to add onto your data pool. And so that also goes along with, I guess you could say, a fourth one, which is data rollover. Um, if whatever data you don't use, if you're on a premium service, basically you have data rollover. So that's also something that's like extremely pretty cool. And so the three bad things about Freedom Pop GSM that I've noticed so far is uh, one would be phone calls and not the call quality. The call quality is fine, but um, you can make outgoing calls. But for some reason, incoming calls sometimes does not come through. You can keep playing with the APN settings. You can start to configure your device over and over again, reset the Freedom Pop messaging app so it re registers your number. And sometimes phone calls still just don't come through. So that's also a big, um, a big huge deal because uh, you need to get your phone calls when people are calling you. Another thing is, which kind of goes with phone calls, is messaging. Sometimes the messaging doesn't work, and I mean, like, sometimes people will send you a text and you will not get it. Um, so outgoing calls, outgoing messaging seems to work, but incoming messages and incoming phone calls sometimes is a fail. And I know that Freedom Pop wants you to rely on their app as their main source of using, like, your phone calls and your text messaging ability, but I think it just probably would have been a better option if, like, the device actually gets you know active natively like other service providers when you slip a sim card into your unlocked device you know using the the native dialer to make phone calls using the native messaging app to make messages and you know it would make sense if like they placed ads in the messaging uh, the freedom pop messaging app but there's no ads in there there's nothing really in there other than the fact that you're sending messages through it just like how you would for like the Google Voice app but in this case, this intercepts, you know, calls this, you know, intercepts, in, you know, incoming uh, messages, and it's used to place outgoing calls and outgoing messages. Um, so it, it tends to fail at times. So that is another bad thing. Also, when you sign up for it, so when you sign up to get the three-in-one SIM uh, SIM card, I don't understand why they don't just let you activate it once you get the SIM card. They pre-activate the SIM card. They ship it out to you. So technically, when you do sign up and you're supposed to get that free 30-day trial, you're not really getting a free 30-day trial. You're actually getting like free 22 days, uh, depending on when the SIM card arrives in your mailbox. So while it is being shipped, your free days is actually counted on those days that it's being shipped that you don't technically have the SIM card in any device. 
So you're not really getting a free 30 day trial. You're getting a free like between 25 to 22 days to 20 days um, free trial. So that is very poor on that end, I guess you could say. So anyways, that's it guys. That's just like, you know, three good things, three good bad things. Let me know what your guys' experience are with Freedom Pop GSM if you have it. If you're interested, you guys can go check out their website and uh, grab one of their um, three in one uh, SIM cards if you guys want to. Kind of use it as a burner phone. I have both SIM cards in this phone since this is a dual uh, SIM card phone and uh, I can always switch between lines. But yeah, that phone calling and messaging thing is a killer and also the time it takes for the SIM card to get to you, you lose days that you should have. So, uh, But if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by smashing that like button and let me know. Links on the display, click them. Click that subscribe button and the bell option is going to upload a video. Mahalo for watching this video all the way through and aloha till the next time. I will get that fixed today. Bye.